Hi everyone, it's Lisa Mears and today I'm going to bring to you 10 cards that I made with Queen & Company's Get Well Soon Shaker Kit. And this kit has everything you need to make Get Well Shaker cards. So there are shaker elements for band-aids, pills, pill boxes, doctor's bags, thermometer, scrubs, and much more. So here's a look at everything that's included in the kit. You get quite a lot of stuff, but the first thing that I want to focus on is showing you the sheet that's included, which shows you all of the contents in the kit. There are also some pictures of sample cards, so if you ever need inspiration, you can look at the sample cards that are on the front of this sheet. And on the back side of this sheet is kind of like an instruction manual, and it shows you what dyes go together to make the shaker elements that are shown in the colored pictures on this sheet. So you can see you have a band-aid, there's also a pill, which you can see to the right of the band-aid, and then down below there's a doctor's bag. Here is a pill bottle. You also have a hat. There are scrubs. There is a thermometer there is a syringe. So those are all the foam shaker pieces that are included in this kit. And then you get 24 foam pieces. So these are in, in the actual shape of all of those images that I was just mentioning to you. So you can see you have the syringe, the thermometer, the pill bottle, the doctor's bag. So they're already cut for you. You don't have to worry about cutting any of your foam and you get three sheets of them. There are a total of 24 of these foam pieces. And you also get the acetate, which go on the covers of your foam pieces to hold your shaker bits in. And they're already pre-cut for you. And here are all of the dies that are included. So you can use your dies to cut your pattern paper or your cardstock to cover up the foam portion of your shakers. And then you also get all of these fun shaker bits. Queen & Company calls these toppings. So here are all the toppings that you get. There are several different colors in the pearls. You also get some band-aids for your toppings. And there are also several different colors in pills. And the pills, they actually look like pills, but they're multicolored. They're white and pink. There are some white and purple. There's some white and green. And there's actually a packet of little pill bottles. Look how cute those are. And if you do run out, Queen & Company does sell extra toppings on their website. They also sell extra foam on their website as well. So here is the stamp set. And the stamp set has 22 sentiments all kinds of sentiments for sending get well wishes to someone who may be sick, but it also has some sentiments on here for thanking someone for taking care of you while you are sick. So for example, thank you for taking care of me. You are the best and you are a real lifesaver. Thank you. So those are just some that you can thank someone, like if you've been in the hospital, maybe you wanna thank your nurse or thank your spouse or whomever you might wanna thank. And then just some others that are on here, feel better soon, okay, what a pain, heal better soon, I'm writing you a prescription for a speedy recovery, and many, many more. So again, there are a total of 22 sentiments. So here's a look at the six by six paper pad. It has beautiful colors inside, and you get three of each sheet, and it is double-sided. So here you have some Band-Aids on the reverse of this red striped diagonal paper. And then here's some pinks and then some pink plaids on the back and that pink plaid, it has some greens in it too and it's really, really pretty. There's some hearts and then there's a yellow print and here are some pills, a green stripe, some more stripes in the color palette. Now, in addition to this six by six pattern paper pad, Queen & Company does sell a solids paper pad that correspond with all of the colors that you see here and that is an additional purchase. So if you are interested in purchasing this product there is a link down in the description box below. I will be making 10 cards with this kit and before I get started I want to mention that I will have up close pictures as well as card measurements and all supplies listed on my blog at lisamearsdesigns.com. 
So for all of my cards, I am going to be using Queen & Company's card sketches. And their card sketches match all of their foundation dies that they sell on their website. So I am using the card sketch that you see here for card one, and I already die cut all of my pieces out. I have a scalloped square that's from the foundation die set number five and the inside piece which was the stitch square which is also from the same foundation five set and I layered the stitch square on top of the scalloped square and then for the two larger pieces I cut a piece of red cardstock from my stash to four and a quarter by five and a half and then the pattern paper that's layered on top of that was cut with a stitched rectangle die which is from the foundation die set number three. I also used the scallop border die set and cut a scallop and I layered it onto that rectangular yellow piece of pattern paper that was cut with foundation die set number three and I'm just layering that underneath the scallop square. Now I do want to mention that any of the solid pieces of cardstock that I'm using are either from my stash or there are leftover pieces from the solid paper pack from the Great Outdoors Queen & Company Shaker Kit when I did that video. A lot of the papers in that paper pad were very similar to the ones in the pattern paper in this kit so I went ahead and pulled those out. Now Queen & Company does sell a solids 6x6 paper pad that matches perfectly to the pattern paper in this kit. So for the shaker element on this card I'm using the doctor's bag. I go ahead and put some glue on the back side of that foam piece Although you do not need to add glue because it does have a sticky back, I always like to add glue just for an extra layer of security for me. <laughs> so I go ahead and attach that to the scalloped frame and add some of my shaker bits inside. I am going to bring in some of the yellow pearls from my stash and then the other bits that you see there are from the kit. Next I peel back the backing from the foam. I do just put a little bit of glue there to the top. You do not have to do this step. I just like to do that just for an extra layer of security. And then just add the matching acetate piece. Next I die cut out of that outline die that you see there laying on the table the color that I wanted to use for the doctor's bag, which this case is a solid green color. And then the top for the handle, I die cut out of a gray. And I'm just adding those to the top just to cover up that acetate. And then I also stamped out a sentiment on the banner that you see there. And I'm also adding some flowers from my stash. Now the sentiment on the banner, it says you can count on me to help with whatever you need to get through this. And that banner is from Queen & Company's Foundation 3 Dies. And then I just add some epoxy dots from my stash. These epoxy dots are sold on Queen & Company's website. They have them in all of the matching colors to their papers. Next, I'll add the cross to the front of the doctor's bag to complete that bag. And then I'll just add that entire layer to an A2 size card. And that is a white card base and it measures four and a quarter by five and a half. And here is a look at my completed card. Moving on to card two, here's the Queen & Company card sketch that I'm going to be using. I did cut down some layers to start off with. So I have a piece of orange cardstock. That is an orange piece of cardstock from my stash and it measures four and a quarter by five and a half. I also have the heart paper that I layered onto a piece of purple cardstock. The purple cardstock is four and an eighth by five and three eighths. The heart paper from the pattern paper pad from this kit is three by five and a quarter. And then that purple strip on the right hand side, that is also from the pattern paper pad and that measures one inch by five and a quarter inches. And then I have this strip of light purple cardstock, same color as what's underneath those pattern papers. And I die cut that border strip with a die from Queen & Company's Foundation 8 die set. And I'm just going to add that strip to cover up where those pattern papers meet. 
So that entire layer will then go on the orange piece of cardstock. So next I die cut a orange scalloped rectangle that is from the foundation two die set. And then the layering piece that I die cut in white cardstock is also from the foundation two die set. So I'll layer that on top of the scallop. And then I'm gonna use the Band-Aid foam. So I peel back the backing and I'm gonna add that directly to the top of that scallop. And once the foam is added, I'm going to add some of the purple pearls that came in the kit, but I am bringing in some of the orange pearls from my stash. I'm also going to be bringing in some of these little heart pieces and add them to the band-aid. And next I'll peel back the backing from the foam and I will add the acetate piece for the band-aid. And then I die cut the actual band-aid outline out of some light purple cardstock and I'm going to add that to the top. I next add the centerpiece for the band-aid that I cut out of the square die that came in the kit. So I'll add that directly to the middle of the band-aid and then I die cut a heart and I will add that to the center of the band-aid as well. Next I'll add that scalloped rectangle to the top of my card layer just like you see it there on the card sketch. Next I die cut a pink heart and that die is from the foundation two die set and I'm adding two pieces of white scrap cardstock underneath the left side of that heart just because where I want to add that heart there's several pieces of cardstock layered underneath it and because of that it's not going to lay flat on my card so by adding the two extra pieces of cardstock underneath the left side it will help the le left side of that heart lay flat on the card. I will also die cut one of the smaller hearts out of some of the purple solid cardstock that will be layered on top of the larger heart. So the smaller heart die comes in the kit and the larger heart die is from the foundations to die set. I also die cut two banners the larger one out of the orange card stock that is from the foundation's three die set and then the smaller one out of white card stock which is from the foundation two die set. I added the sentiment sending you healing hugs to the top of the banner and I added it to the card and here I'm just adding some epoxy dots to finish up decorating this card. And then I will add that entire card layer to the front of a white A2 size card base that measures four and a quarter by five and a half. And here is my completed card. For my next card, here is the card sketch that I am going to be using and I've already die cut my pieces. So I have this banner shape that I die cut out of some pattern paper. And the die for that is from the foundation's 10 die set. I'm layering that onto this piece of teal pattern paper that was also cut with a die from the foundation's 10 die set. And that rectangular piece that I'm layering the banner on, it has stitching on all four sides. So I don't know if you can see that, but there is stitching there as well as on the banner. So those two pieces then were layered onto the polka dot paper and that I cut with a large rectangle die from foundation die set number eight. And for my shaker element, I'm using the thermometer piece. So I go ahead and add that thermometer directly to the top of the card layer. And then I add my shaker pieces inside. So I have some of the pearls. I'm using the green, pink, blue, and white. Next, I will add the acetate shape directly over top to seal all of those shaker pieces inside. And then I die cut the thermometer outline piece with some white cardstock and I'll add that directly to the top. And then I will add the lines to the thermometer. Now, when I die cut the lines, I did add double-sided adhesive to the back of that cardstock, which makes it easier to apply to the thermometer. This kit also includes this die that represents a heartbeat. So I die I cut that out of some red card stock. I am going to include it there towards the bottom of the card, but first I'm going to stamp out the sentiment and it says, I heard you don't feel so hot. So I stamp that directly under the thermometer and then I go ahead and add this little heart rate die cut piece and I add some more of the hearts. So again, the large heart is from the foundation two die set. The small heart is from this kit. And then I piece in a pink heart into that heart rate die cut piece at the bottom of the card. Next, I add a few epoxy dots 
and then I will add this entire card layer to the front of an A2 size white card base. And that completes this card. So moving on to my next card, here's a look at the card sketch that I'm going to be using. So the scallop rectangle and the inside piece, that was die cut with the dies from the Foundation's 10 die set. So I'm going to layer on the red striped pattern paper on top of that blue scallop. I also have a piece of pattern paper and that is the pill pattern paper and it measures four and an eighth by five and three eighths. I'm layering that onto a piece of blue cardstock that measures four and a quarter by five and a half. And then I will add the scalloped rectangle right to the center of that. So for this card, I am gonna be using the pill bottle. So I go ahead and take out the foam and I'm adding that foam directly to a piece of yellow paper. This paper is from the solids from the Great Outdoor Kit that I had left over. So I'm just adding it there and then I'm using my scissors just to snip away the excess. Now if you have the outline dies which are an extra purchase, you can just use the outline and die cut the yellow paper and then add the foam directly to the outline die cut piece. But because I don't have the outline dies, I just added it directly to the cardstock and just snipped away the excess. Now if you wanted to add the foam directly to that scalloped rectangle piece, you can do that, but keep in mind then the back side of the pill bottle will have that red pattern paper showing through instead of the yellow. So that's the advantage of using the outline dies because you can actually change up the color of the cardstock that shows behind your foam shaker piece. So I added the shaker elements. I did use some of the pearls as well as some of the pill shaker pieces and then I added the acetate to the top of that. I The yellow paper is the pattern paper from the kit and then I added that to the top and then the white lid it was just a piece of white cardstock from my stash and I'm adding that to the top of the jar. I did put some light gray ink around the edges of that white cardstock just to add like a little shadow to add some dimension to that jar. And I die cut the white jar label out of the die that came in the kit and I'm adding the stamp Chill Pills 100% Chillax Take One As Needed for Stress Relief. And I'm going to add that directly to the top of that jar. I think that label is so cute. So I'm going to go ahead and add a circle and the string of hearts. Those are also from the Foundation 10 dies from Queen and Company. So I'm going to add that to the bottom of the scallop. I'm just positioning everything. I want to make sure that the pill bottle, it kind of rests on top of the hearts so that the pill bottle looks a little bit grounded. So I go ahead and add the circle as well as the hearts and then add the pill bottle right to the top of that and then I go in my stash and grab some embellishments and I add them to the front of this card. So Queen and Company does sell all different style epoxy dots and other embellishments. They sell felt flowers and different things in the color schemes that they have in their pattern paper. So it really takes the guesswork out of trying to match the epoxy dots and other embellishments to your pattern paper. Papers. So I'll go ahead and add that entire card layer to an A2 size white card base and that completes my card. So here's the card sketch for card five and I went ahead and die cut all of my pieces. So the scalloped rectangle die that is from foundation four die set. I also cut a large rectangle to layer on top of that which is from the foundation three die set. The heart pattern paper measures four and a quarter by five and a half, so it's the same size as the front of an A2 size card base. So I'm gonna layer the scallops directly on the heart pattern paper. And I will be using the syringe shaker piece for my card. So I die cut the outline out of the yellow paper that you see here. And then here's the other die for the other accent pieces for the syringe. Now that yellow paper is just a piece of yellow paper that I had from the Great Outdoors kit. But again, there is a solid pack that matches the Get Well kit. So just like with the previous card, I'm going to be using this yellow paper as the background of my shaker. And because I don't have the outline dies, I'm just adding the foam piece directly to the solid paper. And then I'm just using my scissors to fussy cut around. 
Now if you do have the outline dies, you can just die cut the outline using the paper that you want to show in the background of your syringe. So I'm adding some hearts from my stash and I'm also going to add some blue pearls and then I'll peel back that backing on the foam piece and I'll add the piece of acetate that matches the shape of that shaker and then I will add the yellow cardstock and then I'll add the accent pieces so this top piece of the syringe that was with a red paper and then I have the same yellow paper for the very top piece and then I'll add the piece here towards the bottom I die cut the white rectangle out of a die from the Foundation 4 die set and I stamped out the sentiment sending you a shot of love. Notice that I stamped the sentiment towards the top of that rectangle and that's because I'm going to be using the string of hearts that you see there on the table and I'm going to be putting that underneath the sentiment. So I think it's kind of cute how the end of the syringe is pointing towards the end of the hearts and that's what I intended because I wanted it to look like the hearts were coming out of the syringe. So I added a few more hearts to the front of the card and then I'm going to add this entire layer to the front of an A2 size card base. And that A2 size card base, it measures four and a quarter by five and a half and that completes this card. So for my next card, I have this sketch from Queen and & Company and I cut the pink plaid paper down to four by five and a quarter and I'm gonna layer that onto the green solid paper and the green solid measures four and an eighth by five and three eighths. And then I have these other die cut pieces. So that large white stitched rectangle and the green stitched rectangle are both from the Foundation's three die set from Queen & Company. I'm gonna put the green one down first before I add the white one, but I also am going to add that entire layer to an A2 size card base just because that green rectangle it stretches all the way out to the edge of the A2 size card base so I wanted to make sure I had it on the card base so that I can fully adhere it down. So I'm going to be using the Scrubs foam shaker piece so I go ahead and add it to a piece of pink paper. This pink paper is actually the pattern paper that came in the kit. It's very light so you can't hardly see it but it is patterned. So I go ahead and add the foam and I'm just cutting around the shape of the scrubs. Now if you have the outline die you can always use the outline die to die cut that background piece. I also die cut the pocket and I'm just adding it there to the scrubs. And then I add some of the pink and white pill shaker bits and some of the pink and white pearls to the center. And then I go ahead and peel up that backing off of the foam and I will add some glue. Again, this step is optional. You definitely don't have to do this because that is sticky. I just like to add extra glue just for my own sense of security. And then I add the acetate followed by the pink outline of the scrubs. So I also die cut a white stitched rectangle. It's a long skinny rectangle and that was cut with the foundation eight die set and I stamped out a sentiment that says feel better fast doctor's orders. So I add that straight along the middle of that green rectangle and the scrubs are going to go on top of those rectangular pieces, but I also die cut the doctor's bag out of some green cardstock. So right now I'm simply adhering the outline of the green doctor's bag and then I'll add the handle to the top of that. Now for the center I die cut the same die out of the green pattern paper and I'm just going to add that straight to the middle. So this doctor's bag is not going to be a shaker piece, it's just going to be a flat die cut piece added to the card. So the scrubs is actually going to be positioned a little bit over top of that doctor's bag as well as over top of part of that white rectangle. And then I'll add a pink cross right to the front of the doctor's bag. And then I will finish this up by adding some embellishments. So several different epoxy dot styles from Queen and Company in the same colors of the pattern paper and the cardstock that I've used on my card. So that completes this card. So here's a look at the card with the card sketch. And moving on to my next card, I am going to be using dies from the Foundation 8 die set, which consists of two dies. I have the large rectangle die, which is a stitched rectangle, and then I have that 
triple circle die, which I die cut out of some solid red cardstock. And the white circles, I also die cut out of the same die, and those circles are just meant to fill in to the red die so that instead of the pattern paper showing through those circles, it's going to be white showing through those circles. So I'll add each one of the circles in the holes. And inside those circles, I'm going to include three of the pills. And I die cut the outline of each one of those pills in yellow and blue and in the peach or orange color. And I'm keeping the center pieces that also die cut with those outline shapes. So I'm positioning the outline so that it's centered on the shape and then I'm gluing down the center and then removing the top outline piece. I just wanted to use that outline piece just for a guide to make sure that I have the middle piece centered and then I'm going to add the foam piece around each one of those shapes that are positioned within the circles. Now the cardstock that I'm using is actually paper from the solids paper pack that were my scraps from the Great Outdoors kit. And as I mentioned previously, Queen & Company does sell a solid 6x6 paper pad that match the papers to this Get Well Soon kit. So once all of the foam is added, I'm going to go ahead and fill it with some shaker pieces. And then I'll go ahead and add the acetate covers to each one of those pills. Now I do want you to notice that on the table are the pieces of the pill die cuts and there are actually two dies that correspond with this pill. There's the little half piece and then there's the fully round piece. So I'm going to go ahead and glue down the fully round piece in a lighter color and then the half piece was actually the darker yellow which is the reverse of the actual paper. Same thing with the blue one. The light blue is the fully round piece and then the half circle is the dark darker piece and then the same thing for the peach color at the bottom. I thought that by using the two-tone colors just added a little bit better contrast than using the same tone for the entire pill. So then I add this tag that is a sentiment and says heal better soon which I stamped onto the tag and I'm just adding a piece of the twine from Queen and & Company and then I'm adding a few epoxy dots as well. I do add several more epoxy dots to the left panel of that card and then I'm going to add this panel to an A2 size card base and that will complete my card. So here's a final look at my card next to the card sketch and moving on to my next card here is the picture of the card sketch and I have these strips of pattern paper that are cut to one half inch by five and a half inches and I have two of them. I'm just adding them underneath this pattern paper. The pattern paper there measures two and three quarter inches by five and a half inches. So I'm going to add that to the red striped pattern paper which is four and a quarter by five and a half. It's going to be added right to the middle of that paper. I die cut a white banner from the Foundation 2 die set and a scalloped circle from the Foundation 1 die set and that scalloped circle was die cut with the yellow pattern paper from the paper pad. I'm just adding some scrap paper to the top and bottom of that scalloped circle just because when I add that scalloped circle to the paper it doesn't lay flat if I don't add the scraps because there's so many pieces of pattern paper underneath that that I just want to make sure that it lays flat on that card. So here I'm using the nurse's hat and I'm going to adhere it to a piece of white cardstock. Just trim off the excess. If you have your outline dies, you can just die cut the outline die out of the white cardstock and add the foam directly to the white die cut piece. So I'm going to go ahead and add some shaker bits to the inside of that foam and then I will add the acetate shape that matches that nurse's cap and I took the dies that you see there lying on the table and I die cut some white cardstock and I'm just going to add the white cardstock right to the top of the acetate and I'm going to put the cross there in the middle and then we'll add that shape directly to the center of the scallop. I stamped out the sentiment, feel better soon, okay, 
and I stamped it onto some teal paper and just trimmed it to size and then I'm just adding some epoxy dots to the front of that card layer and then I will add that to an A2 size card base and that will complete this card. For my next card, I have a piece of purple pattern paper that I cut to four and an eighth by three inches, and I'm gonna put it at the top of this A2 size card base, making sure that I have some white all around. And then the green pattern paper is four and an eighth by two and three quarters, and I'm gonna put that towards the bottom of the card base. So there should be one eighth of an inch of white showing on all sides of that pattern paper. So I have these banner dies. I have the larger one cut out of white cardstock, and then the other one is out of the striped pattern paper, and I'm just gonna layer that on just like you see there. And these banners are part of the Queen & Company Foundation One die set. So I'm just going to add that across the center of the card to cover up the break in the pattern paper. And then I'll bring in a scalloped circle and a stitched circle. I'm gonna layer those together. That's gonna go right in the center of that card. Next, I die cut the scrubs out of some yellow paper. I just laid that outline in the center of that circle while I place the inside piece down and then I'll remove the outline. I will go ahead and add the pocket and then I'll add the foam to the top. I'm gonna go ahead and add some shaker bits. So I add the purple and white pills and then I add some of the green pearls and the white pearls. Next I'll add the acetate over the top and then I'll add the yellow outline to cover up the acetate. I stamped out the sentiment I'm writing you a prescription for a speedy recovery onto this white banner and I'm going to add that to the bottom of the card. And after I add the banner I'm going to bring in some more hearts. So again it's the same heart that I used in the previous cards. It's from the Foundation 2 die set and I add a red heart and then the pink heart and some epoxy dots to finish up this card. And last, I'm gonna add some white sparkle string to the side of this card and just tie it in a bow at the very top. And that completes this card. So moving on to card number 10, I'm layering on a stitched white circle onto a pink scalloped circle. I also have this pink plaid paper that measures four and an eighth by five and three eighths. I also die cut a white scalloped border. I'm going to lay that across the plaid paper and just trim off the excess. I also die cut a green banner and a white banner. The larger green banner is going to be placed right on top of that scallop so that the right end of that banner meets flush with the right side of that card front. The sentiment I stamped onto the smaller white banner and it says, I hope this card injects some cheer into the situation. And I glued that down on top of the green banner and then I glued down the scalloped circle. I did place part of the scallop circle off the left edge of the card front. So I just snipped off the excess. And then I'm going to bring in the syringe and I'm gonna be using gray cardstock for the actual syringe, and then the accent pieces will be cut from pink cardstock. So I'm gonna glue in the inside piece of the syringe, just for placement there, glue it down on the circle. I will add the foam piece right on top. And then I'm going to put some of the pearls in there. I'm gonna use the pink, the green, and the white pearls, and fill it up really good. And then I'm gonna peel back that um, backing off the foam. I'll add the acetate cover. And then I will add all of the cardstock pieces that I die cut out. So we'll add the gray piece, then we'll add the pink piece up towards the top. And there's also a small pink piece towards the bottom and then a gray piece up at the very top of that syringe. So the foundation dies that I use for this card are from the foundation die one set as well as the foundation die two set. 
Okay, so this sketch also has some flowers, which I went ahead and die cut using the same colors, the green and the pink that I've been using in this card. And those flowers are part of the Foundation 2 die set. So I'm going to go ahead and cluster those together, just like the card sketch shows, and then put a single one off to the right. And then to fill in the centers, I'm just using some of the Queen & Company rhinestones and some of the epoxy dots to fill in the centers of those flowers. And then I'll add this um, card layer to a an A2 size card base and I'm going to add some of the string around the top and that will complete that card. So once again here are all 10 cards that I created with Queen & Company's Get Well Soon Shaker Kit. Leave me a comment down below and let me know which card was your favorite. If you are interested in this product I will have a link down in the description box. I will also have up close pictures of all of these cards on my blog at lisamearsdesigns.com. As always, if you like this video, go ahead and click that thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe for more card making inspiration. Have a great day everyone and thanks for watching. Bye bye.